Yo, what's going on guys? It's Tap here and we are going to continue our Smackdown Here Comes the Pain Definitive Edition Jeff Hardy Season Mode playthrough. So without further ado, let's get into it. If you guys are new here to the channel, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you're new here. I'd really appreciate it. I have zero subscribers right now, so if you could, I would love you forever. Here we go. JR, this is my hometown, you know. There are a great bunch of people in this city and, they're, and you're going to hear them tonight. Oops, I just realized I was playing through Streamlabs rather than actually playing the game. Here we go. You must be really excited. Have a good show, right? Uh, yeah, that's great. I gotta go. No, I'm, I'm always gonna be nice to JR. JR is a stud. Thanks. I will call you when I'm... I will call your match with all my might. And obviously something's happening here. Oh, Lita and Sable. It's time for the highly anticipated Diva Beauty Contest. This is the truest highlight of my career, baby. Jeff will be, the t Jeff will be tonight's judge. All right, I think that's enough talking. Let's see some action, starting with Lita. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Hear the crowd? That's funny. Damn. Jerry Lawler always is thirsty. All right. Now Sable. Whoa, I would do anything to get my hands on that. <laughs> Oh man, that's funny. I can't take any longer. This is a close contest. All right, let's let Jeff decide who the winner is. No, I think normally I would select Sable because I feel like around this time she was actually more attractive. But because I got Jeff Hardy, I think I'm going to pick Lita, even though I don't want to turn romantic. So if it does, it'll be weird for Matt. Matt Hardy, you know, my tag team champion. But uh, I think that'll be pretty entertaining. So we're gonna go with Lita. The winner is the lovely Lita. Lita, here's your trophy from myself, the king. Thanks a lot, king. This probably means a lot to me. Let's get another round of applause for our winner, Lita. All right. That was one slobber knocker, folks, and thanks for joining us, Jeff. So we're about to have a possible Hardy Boys love triangle here. I don't know how. I don't think there's. I don't know how it's gonna work with our, us, uh, us being tag team champions or Matt. I don't know if he'll be involved, but we can just make it up in our heads, I suppose. Is there anybody to talk to? Ooh, Steve Austin. Um. I don't know. I might. Hey, let's go talk to Steve Austin. Let's see. Let's see what Stone Cold's got going on. What do you want? You're scared of me. You're scared of me, aren't you? I can feel it. I can see it in those beady little eyes. If you think you're tough, why don't you beat me down? Do you have the guts? Go ahead, hit Stone Cold. Oh boy, wow. Well, I guess we're fighting Stone Cold in the back. You know, I've been doing some thinking because I've been losing some matches in, in this uh, playthrough, which I'm not like, not that worried about. It's what it is what it is. But I was doing some thinking. Like, I feel like if I would have done this story mode with like Batista or something instead, even though I would have started with season stats, basically no stats, I would have had to work my way up. At the very least, his moves like get you SmackDown meter. Like his moves are like a lot of, lots of heavy, like, powerful grapple moves. Or even like Brock Goldberg, someone like that. But say, let's just say like hypothetically somebody that isn't like a main character like Brock or Goldberg. So someone like Batista, for example, his moves still get you like a good amount of SmackDown meter. So it's easier to start a season with like Batista. But Jeff Hardy's moves are all these like little like strikes and stuff. And it's like impossible to get smackdown meter with them when you're playing so it's like you're fighting such like a uphill battle to like get enough damage in your opponent 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 i don't know why i said like that you're fighting such like an uphill battle to get enough damage in your opponent before you can get your finisher and even when you do it doesn't like do anything like look i've been in control most of this match and look at how much smackdown meter i have compared to him and that's this is a problem that i think would exist even if jeff hardy was good like if, if i had like the regular stats it would still be kind of a problem but at the very least my moves would be doing damage to him right now my strength is so low <clears throat> still at like three and a half points i think uh, i still am just not doing much damage so it's kind of i mean i wanted to do jeff hardy playthrough so i'm not mad about it but it's just like that's the problem and then like i have the the smackdown charge meter set to high that way like my uh, my meter goes goes up faster but it's also making the opponents go up faster too so I feel like it kind of isn't really getting me anywhere. Let's uh, shoot this at him. Oh, just hit the ref, okay. Well, 
No, I didn't think he'd go for the finisher there. I don't think I'll I don't think I'll get pinned here. Wow. <clears throat> Not expecting that. That also sucks because I'm probably gonna lose some uh some Let's see, do I get our cutscene? No, I don't. Okay, well. Let's look at my attributes. Oh, I do actually have some experience I can add. Um, let's go one to strength. And then one to endurance. <sighs> Another Intercontinental Championship match against DDP. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm kind of thinking about purposely losing to DDP. Because I basically have this match every night and it's annoying me. Um, so I'm kind of thinking about purposely losing this title. But then again, I wonder if Yo, it's me. It's me. if I was a world tag team champion, which I am the world tag team champion still. So am I going to have to do that match every night? It'd just be basically replacing the Intercontinental title so I still have a tag team championship match plus... My singles matches? I don't know. I gotta hit this. No, no. Oh, that might be the end. Just kidding. My turn. It's kind of weird that I've only faced DDP. I think DDP is the only guy that I've defended the title against. I don't know why that is. It's kind of weird. Oh, damn. Earl Hedner's up on the table doing the pin. What? Oh, that's it. No longer Intercontinental Champion. I must say I'm kind of relieved. I'm going to be honest with you. But I'm losing almost more than I'm winning at this point. And that is pretty rough. I'm not going to lie. That's all right, though, because now I feel like I can continue playing the game and, like, do, like, natural storylines it's giving me rather than having to do championship matches the whole time okay um all right so we're good now intercontinental championship is done for i'm actually happy it is kind of cool though at least i'm like losing some matches in the beginning like if i was playing with like uh like say i was playing like brock or somebody like i probably wouldn't have lost a single match and like that kind of makes it boring so i feel like at least i'm winning or at least i'm losing so like when i win it'll be like more of a come up story you know what i mean because i i could just theoretically be like losing every time or winning every time and then it's like well what's the fun in that if you're watching me but i think if you actually look at um my I i'm pretty sure i'm on a four four match losing streak to be honest with you because i'm trying to remember i think my in my last episode I lost my last two rep matches. Damn, Bubba's already got his finisher and I'm already hurting. That stinks. Oh, reversed it. There we go, nice. Here, I'm going to see if I can get one body part, at least orange, before I... Uh, before I hit the finisher. Damn, I'm kind of going off right now. I'm hitting. I just like changed the other bunch of moves, like a beast. Ooh, reverse it. Let's go. DDT. Ooh, on the ramp. On the ramp. Ooh, that's just like straight concrete right there. Another one. This one's on the ramp for real this time in the steel. Ooh. Nice. Alright, let's go on the let's go back in the ring. I might be able to actually pull off like a twist of fate. And then do a swan tonk I'm so close to another finish here.
So come on, make a more in somewhere. Unbelievable. Like Bubba Ray Dudley's not even good. I'm pretty sure he's got like a 60 something overall. So the fact that like I can't even damage him is kind of crazy. Alright, let's see if we can hit him with the Swanton. Maybe it'll injure him enough to pin him. I feel like I kind of doubt it. There we go. Swanton. Alright, hopefully this is it. One. Two. Wow. Here we go. Let's try it. Swanton time. Uh, one. Two. Three. <sighs> Took three finishers in a singles match to beat Bubba Ray Dudley. Could you imagine if I were to wrestle like Triple H right now? I'd get destroyed. And this is on normal difficulty, which is kind of crazy too. Guess I'm not really welcomed here by this crowd. Well then again, I'm going to introduce you to your hometown hero. Come up to the ring, JR. I want to give the fans what they want. What do you really want? Don't trust them, JR. Oh, of course not. You don't want a standing ovation from your hometown, JR? Then I'm going to go down there. Wait, what? Did we just do this storyline? That's weird. We just got the same storyline twice. Now, RBD's attacking me. You're going list for an international tour. The fans will be laughing at the if you go. Of course, you're not going to go anywhere. It's time to kick your ass. We already did this story. And then I did the the beauty contest, whatever, and I picked Lita, and I think it usually leads to Lita becoming your, Lita becomes your, like, manager. So now, I'm doing this again, which I already did this once. Whatever, I'm gonna keep playing it. I don't know what happened, but, like, I haven't gotten anywhere, it seems like. I don't know what's going on. All right, well, whatever. I guess we'll uh, do the same thing we did with DDP last time, except with Rob Van Dam. No, I actually lost to, to DDP last time. So I'm gonna redeem myself here against RVD, hopefully. Now we're in Times Square, let's do this. It's, it's kind of funny how no matter what arena you're in, like we're in Oklahoma, but apparently now it's Times Square. Like we're in Times Square right now. Like no matter what arena you're fighting in, you're actually just in Times Square anyways. We're gonna go all the way to the top here and hopefully throw RVD off. Hopefully not get thrown off, because if we get thrown off, we'll probably uh, lose. Nice, that's what I wanted. Hopefully he comes back up here and I can just do it again. And then he'll be uh, all types of hurt. Oh no! Ooh, wow, I just got so lucky. Oh my god, I don't know how that just happened. Just fall off. Yes. I'm cheesing right now, but you know, I don't care. Hit him a little bit with the hubcap. He's pretty hurt already right now. Honestly, I should be a hardcore champion because I gotta rely on weapons anyways to like win all my matches. It would make sense. <clears throat> I've done four matches in this week. I fought Stone Cold, I did my two matches on my card, now I'm fighting RVD after the fact. That's kind of crazy. Alright, we are almost done here. I think two finishers will finish him. No pun intended. No. There's one finisher. <clears throat> Let's pick him right back up and do it again. I don't know. This probably won't be enough to pin him. One. To, oh, what a wimp I am. On the bright side, though, Rob Van Dam has to be on top of something in order to, to do his finisher, so uh, we basically, that ain't gonna happen. At least he did it off top of Times Square, which would be nuts. Finisher time, no, this, this should definitely be it. One, two, Three. Okay, good. So we beat RVD, which we couldn't do last time when it was DDP, but we're good now. 
Uh, hopefully... I st I lost superstar point. All right, we're in insurrection. I don't know if we're gonna actually have like a uh, a match on the card. I'd imagine maybe a tag team match because we're still tag team champions, or maybe I don't know. I'm confused. Maybe I fight Eric Bischoff because how he was treating Jr. Here comes RVD to the ring. What is RVD gonna say? Well, I I heard. Well, I've heard that RVD attacked Jeff before we came out here for this tour. Well, I wanted to say that I'm sorry. Sorry that you guys had to see Jeff on this trip out here. I tried to prevent the WWE from being laughed at because of Jeff's terrible wrestling. But since Jeff is already here, we have to face the music. But no worries, I'll fight against him because I can make the match look a whole lot better. Jeff is out here. Looks like Jeff can't stand the trash talking. Well, Jeff is insulted. Okay, so you're here, Jeff. Why don't you choose? What type of match we're going to have tonight? Remember, you should pick an exciting match because your style bores the crowd to death. It's so funny because both these guys are like the exact opposite of boring. So it doesn't make sense storyline-wise, but whatever. So hurry up and choose. Table match, submission match, hardcore match, normal match. Let's go with the table match. Alright, here we go. Tables match time. I think I can pretty easily win a tables match. Okay, so we got Fatal 4-Way in the first match, Raven wins, then US Championship match, Eddie Guerrero, John Cena, and Farouk. Eddie Guerrero wins, and now we're facing RVD. Let's do it. All right. Yeah, here, RVD. And, what? Like, see, this is what I'm talking about. Now, if I were to lose this match somehow right now, like if I were to lose this match now, that would be some BS because that totally should have been in the match right there. That's how table matches work sometimes. Let's try again. Oh, no. Oh. See, now he could have very easily like done the same move I did, put me on the table, and then put me through it. On. Hurry up. Oh, he moved. No. The Corona. Oh, no. He reversed me. Pretty sketchy. Let's try again. No, no, no. Ooh, okay. Whew. That was scary. Come on, Swanton. Oh my god, really? Come on. End of the match right here. There we go, finally. No, no, I'm attacking RVD for what he did to me. I don't even care. He attacked me backstage. I'm attacking him in front of the fans. Make him look like an idiot. Watch me walk in with a chair. There we go. Oh no, is he going to get reversed? No! Wow. So this is something that I never, like back in the day when I would play SmackDown Here Comes the Pain, I would always just play with like the regular stats, not with the season mode stats. So that's why I think I'm so surprised that Jeff Hardy like kind of sucks. But also, um, I think something I've realized is that when your overall is low and you try to attack people after a match, that you get reversed because this is the second time that's happened to me. I don't remember that like ever happening to me prior. So my superstar points are 85, which I think that might make me eligible for championship matches, like heavyweight title, which I don't think I'm ready for.